Hi guys, I'm Silverwolf and this is another Doggy video and I'm going to show you how to play with Doggy without the app. Someone was asking, can you actually play with it without the app? Yes you can, you don't need the app to enjoy this robot. Which is nice considering the fact that, as we know, app enabled robots will go redundant after a while because they do take the apps down. Um, once the robot hasn't been on the sale for a while, you won't be able to get the app either. So, um, unless of course you've got the APK, but a lot of these APK sites, that's the Android uh, file format for these apps, a lot of these sites are riddled with viruses. So, unless you get the APK file and keep it somewhere, you know, for future use, you might get a virus, I don't know. Um, but the, the uh, Wowie Dog E robot can be enjoyed without using the app, and I will show you how. I do have the instructions as well with me so that I can show you those as well. Um, so you can make your own decision on whether you think it's worth it. I think a lot of these robotic toys that they release these days, uh, they're very highly priced. And a lot of people are like, are they really worth it? The majority of uh, reviews on Amazon and stuff are just saying, well, it's, it's too overpriced. You know, is it? It's, it's going to be a five minute wonder and it's very expensive, so. Right, so we've turned him on now. These are the instructions that I'm reading from. Uh, you can play games with him. There's all the different game symbols on his tail. Um, save multiple profiles and all that. And it does say more ways to play in-app at the bottom there. So this is the quick guide. So, to find out what he wants, you press his nose twice and he'll show his name. Oh, he's just pooped. You don't have to do anything when he poops, apparently, according to the app. He, he just poops. Right, so press his nose twice and he says his name. His name, as you can see there, is Gaz. Right, he wants feeding, so how do we feed him? Let's have a look. To feed him, you press his nose. And now you can see a little bit of his health meter is gone up. So that's how you feed him. You can love him. when he eventually shuts up. So to, to give him love, you pet his head. This often, uh, I think my one's got a bit of a funny head sensor because he often doesn't actually register I've petted his head. He's just kind of, there you go, he's accepted it. The head sensor appears to be between the ears. I have tried here as well, but I think it's actually between his ears. So that's how you pet him. You can play games with him. So to play with his toy, to um, give him his bone. Now the bone is magnetic and it's got this on the end. So you basically put it on his nose. Like that. And he, oh, he's let go of it. Yes, I know it's gone. There you go. Unfortunately, you need quite. <laughs> you need quite a lot of space to do this. Come back. He's he's, he's gone. There we go. Yeah, you do, you do need a lot of space to play with the toy with him. This is magnetic. Um, and when he's finished playing with the toy, he will actually uh, acknowledge that he's played with it because his little tail lights light up. His tail lights are actually nearly full, which means that he's happy anyway. I'm just sort of making him happier by doing stuff with him. So that's playing games to check his health. Now, when the light on his chest turns green, that means he's got, like, he's ill. So you can see he's lifted his head there and he's showing off that light. Um, 
When it turns green and yellow, press his nose or pet his head to make him feel better. Well, obviously he's not ill. Now with the app, you actually, you can check this regularly. And with the app, you can uh, just heal him over, you know, over time in the app. I think the illness meter does go up. So uh, you can just keep an eye on it if you have the app. Like I said in this video, I'm just showing you how to how to play with him without the app. There you go. I think when you when you pet his head, you have to actually sort of like you, you can't do it too gently. You've got to actually make him know that he's uh, he's had his head petted. Okay, because whenever I do it gently, he doesn't register it. But if I do it enough to actually move his head slightly while I'm doing it, um, he seems to register it more. And whether that's the case or not, I don't know. It's just my one. Uh, so you can play games with him. Now, I, I would try to do this without the app, but I will be telling you how to... You're very noisy. Um, I will be telling you how to play the games in the app as well which is a bit easier but to play games without the app you press his ear down which takes you to the menu now you can see his tail there so to change the game you can press his left or right side to scroll through the games so let's have a look and you press his nose to confirm there you go so the first one is fortune teller and the next one is Park back. The next one is uh, what's that one? <clears throat> Stay or go. And then we've got ultimate nose boot. And then we've got uh, turbo pet. And then code breaker. I hope you can see all of those. Yes, you can. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. And that is back to fortune teller. So I'll try and do ultimate nose boot, which I believe is the easiest one. So. I think you've got to press his nose when the... Okay, I got his nose one time. Anyway, hearts have come up, so he's very happy. I, I did actually play these games when I first had him, but I have in fact been on holiday since then, and I can't remember how to do a lot of them. So we'll be playing the games properly with the app in the next video. Uh, another thing I've noticed, like his tongue, for example, it goes in and out when he raises his head. Now, his tongue basically doesn't have a motor in it. You can just do... Oh, actually, no, it does have a motor in it. Um, when, when he was switched off and his head was pointing downwards, the tongue would come out. And then when I sort of moved, I could actually just push the tongue and it would go back in again. So I figured it was something to do with whether his head's up, the tongue's in, and whether his head's down, the tongue's out. And I think it is kind of like that, but he was switched off. So maybe maybe all of his uh, motors had gone laps or something, but I, I didn't think it had a motor in, but as you can see, it does. So... Oh, he wants to be petted now. See, I... I oh, there we go. Okay, now, I, now I've got the hang of the petting. The petting is kind of difficult for me to get the hang of. Maybe I need to pet his, like, try and pet his entire head when I do it. That's the only thing I've been having trouble with. Because um, I couldn't figure out whether it's between his ears or on the front of his head. But I think it's like this. Like, I just start feeling a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so that's registering that he's been petted. So, yeah, you just pet the whole head as much as you can. But if you're a kid with small hands, that might be a bit difficult. Um, and he's got wheels on the bottom of his paws as well. We'll have a look at the technology behind him in another video. Um, so that he, he doesn't tend to move unless you play the game, the tug of war game with him. So. It's quite good because he stays in one place. But then other people might want him to sort of 
walk around and explore. Um, and he doesn't really do that. So he has no auto autonomousness, which is kind of sad. But then again, he'd probably be running into everything because he has no sensors and things like that. Anyway, that's how you play with him without the app. It's pretty easy. As you can see, he's just showed his name to us again. I called him Gaz. Um, so if you want to see more videos of him, you can click the boxes that come up below. He is very noisy and I hope you can hear everything I've been saying. Uh, you can check out my Etsy in Monday stores. I make plushies and take commissions and all sorts of good stuff like that. Or you can buy me a coffee on Kofi. The links are all in the description and that's all for this video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep being awesome. This is Silver signing off.